In Israel, Jews tend to avoid Arab towns like mine because they think it's dangerous. So I invited my most Jewish... Hi, my name is Eliyahu McLean from Nitivot. I'm here inspired by the late Rabbi Menachem Froman. And we're going to do the most basic thing of all. I'm going to secretly film Eliyahu in an Arab town to prove that it's safe for Jews. An Orthodox Jew roamed the streets by himself, went to the market to buy food, ate his own kosher food at a local restaurant, and even walked by himself at 1 a.m. to go to a night cafe, surrounded by Muslims. And guess what happened? Nothing. In fact, this is what happened when Eliyahu went to visit an Arab school. And all of this is real. Yes! Hey, every time I tell my friends that I live in Israel, they think I live in a war zone. Most of the time, they're wrong. Take today for example, I woke up and I dropped my brother at school. Went shopping, I didn't know which shoe to buy, so I bought the more colorful one. I talked to the Jewish owner about Marathon and about how his customers are all Arab. Then I went on to buy more jeans. The girl who helped me was awesome. We became Facebook friends. Wink. Then I bought my brother a game for his PlayStation. That is normal life inside Israel. The fact of the matter is, Israel is safe most of the time. When Israel is not safe, however, is if you put your drone bag in the middle of the street, that is a bomb threat. Israel is not safe every time I go to the airport and people think I'm a terrorist there because I look like a Muslim. Israel is not safe if you live anywhere near the borders, either you're Muslim or Jewish. These are also the facts. But if you're a Filipino tourist looking for some culture, yes, Israel is safe for that. That's one minute. See you tomorrow from Palestine. Hi. On this foggy, cold day in Palestine, today's video is not about the hardships in here. It's about how I found glimpses of hope in this country. I found hope at successful Palestinian businesses, where my Harvard-educated friend, Kanan, makes incredible Palestinian beer. I found it with my friend, Montasser, who's building a tech startup, just like everyone in San Francisco. I found it with my friend, Pimban, who's training for the Olympics for sprinting, and he's fast. Unlike Montasser, who's fat. I found it inside poor refugee camps where bright colors are taking over the walls. Inside the nightclub where beautiful people go out to listen to a woman DJ. And I found hope on the separation wall itself. Hope, turns out, exists both in Israel and Palestine. It's just really hard to notice sometimes. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Earlier this week, I invited everyone in the country to come visit me here at my home. And when you invite a whole country on Facebook, you have no idea how many people will come. Still, you must prepare. Your mother and sister make the food. Your dad gathers supplies and your brother cleans up while you're nervous that no one would show up. Then one person shows up. Two, three, ten, twenty, thirty, all these people show up. It's a lot! <laughs> and under one roof, you have the Jew, Muslim, Christian, Indian, the disabled, the couples, the American, German, and even the Japanese. Arigato! It's scary to go to some random person's house in the middle of nowhere. This is very weird. <laughs> and it's scary to share your home with people from the internet. But even if you invite the whole country to your actual home, it will turn out fine. Welcome! That's, That's one minute! See you tomorrow! Yes, that was good! Hi. In the last video, I said that Palestinian citizens of Israel are doing worse off than Jewish citizens. But what I forgot to say is that we're not dying. <laughs> Not only do we have the nice cars and the nice malls, but we also have the education. And here at the MIT of the Middle East, the Technion, you see the aspiring Arab engineer, lawyer, doctor, accountant, and software engineer. 
We are taking education and not violence by the balls! <laughs> there are so many doctors in my city that if you go to relax at a random coffee shop, you'll find yourself with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doctors. There's a lot of them. There are many things to credit for our situation, both the government and our culture itself. But this isn't a praise video either. This is just to say that we rock too. That's one minute. See you wow, that was sick! <laughs>